Another week, another project. This time I coded a web browser for Safefish OS. Uh, basically, I was not happy with the default web browser because it does not support landscape and does not support opening up multiple tabs and switch between them. It just simply reloads the tab every time you switch. So I simply had one week time and I coded uh, in my free time a web browser called WebCat. If you open it up, it will bring you to the bookmarks. So there are some bookmarks uh, predefined, like, just like for example Jolly Art Together, Memo Forum, Jolly Users, Jolly Videos, Jolly Tiles, and Review Jolly. These are the bookmarks that are predefined, and the other ones are the bookmarks that are simply added. You can add a bookmark by just going, let's just simply go to a site, just like for example, Linux Action Show. And you can see that it's now loading the website. There's a nice loading animation on top. And you have a bottom bar. This bottom bar allows you to go back to your bookmarks or set a bookmark. So basically the star means that the bookmark is set. If I just want to delete this bookmark, I unset. As you can see in here, we go back to my bookmarks. You can see that the um, Linux Action Show Reddit page is not there anymore. Um, oops. Let's go back. And let's add it. Go back to the bookmarks. And you can see here Linux Action Show is available again. So this is how you add and, and remove bookmarks. Of course, you have also the option to just go in here, press and hold along, and then delete if you want to delete the bookmark. Um, you have also the option to manually add a bookmark, and there this comes pretty handy that you have also the option not to set a title and a URL, but a user agent. So very handy if you want to load a special website with a specific user agent. And I have uh, several user agent, uh, agents just predefined in here, just like for example the Jolla Safefish browser, the default Jolla WebKit, which is, by the way, this uh, string here. As you can see, it's uh, a Nokia browser string also in here. It's, it's basically um, a modified version of the N9 uh, code I used here. The only thing, the only big difference is that it sends, oops, that it sends the um, Memo Linux uh, and Jolla Sailfish um, string. Um, you have some other ones, as you can see here, the default one, the Androids, the N900, N9 ones, Fennec, Internet Explorer, and also a desktop version of Firefox, which allows you to just simply set this one and, and view this page of this bookmark always with this um, user agent, which can be pretty handy sometimes. So this is basically adding bookmarks manually. You also have the option to go to settings and you can see here some nice and interesting settings. So for example, I can set the default font size, default fixed font size and the minimum font size. I can set the default homepage. In this case about bookmarks means that it will open up or bring up the bookmarks. I can set it to something differently, of course, to website, for example. I can um, add uh, or can just simply Enabled loading of images, pretty handy if you have or if you're on 3G and you don't want to waste uh, bandwidth. You can just simply disable this and it will then not load any images. You have a private browsing mode, of course. You can set the user agent globally in here. And you have a DNS prefetching and offline web application cache as advanced uh, options as well. So let me go back and show you the tabbing support. So as you can see, I'm now on the Linux Action Show uh, site. And if I scroll a little bit down, you can see I'm now at this uh, state, basically on the bottom of the page. If I now go and hit here, new tab, I can bring up a new website, so for example, memo forum. Of course, I also have the ability to go in landscape mode for this page. This makes particular, particularly for this page, it makes sense uh, to go to landscape mode. And if I don't like it anymore, or want to switch back to another tab, I just simply hit this button, go to Linux Action Show, and I'm back where I left. This is pretty cool, I think, for everyone that missed um, multiple tab support. Also, of course, just let me open up a new tab. 
let me go to Fever's blog, for example. I can just simply uh, hold and press longer on a link and have the option to open up the link in a new tab or copy the link. Let me open up a new tab. <laughs> of course, you have the option to just close the tab that you are currently on. Also, with the pulley menu, um, you can scroll, of course, through the tabs in here. You can switch to a tab. Uh, there are no big slowdowns uh, so far. At least not on the Jolla device. Um, let me open up a new tab for um, going to YouTube to show you another cool feature of this browser. So as my video player now has the ability or registered itself as an RTSP capable, capable uh, video player, you have the option to just simply click any link in here, just like a, for example the YouTube video link and it will bring then up my video player. There you have it. And I can play now this Simpson uh, trailer, which is pretty nice. So this is basically it. There are some nice other features, just like for example, if you have a long page, let me go back to FIFA's blog, for example, long page and want to scroll fast to the bottom of the page, just simply scroll fast and you can see there was a blue dot and if you click this, it will bring you and scroll to the bottom of the page. Same goes for up scrolling uh, normally. I think I have to correct the velocity for this one. Normally it will also bring, just like here, it will bring there and you can scroll up to the top. So I need to tweak it this a little bit, um, but I think this is uh, for the first week, I think this is a good browsing experience already um, using this browser day to day. And it's pretty handy, it's pretty good. There are still some bugs, still some quirks uh, here and there. So if you want to support the browser, you can donate, of course. You can also um, just take a look at the code. Mm, um, and you can, of course, then send in patches and so on, um, gladly accepting patches, especially for JavaScript, opening new up, opening up new websites. eBay uh, just uh, happens to be something that, that just simply writes in only uh, in their HRF. Mm, um, JavaScript and this is basically everything and I'm just looking for a way to open up then the new page or a new link or something like this. Uh, the same goes for YouTube embedded videos. If you normally click on the embedded uh, off on the YouTube sign, it will load and uh, load a new YouTube or load a new window with the YouTube video. This does not work um, in this browser, so there are some quirks still, but I think this is uh, far better than the um, than the native browser, um, especially if, the, if you like tab support and, and landscape support. So this is basically everything and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you like my uh, WebCat browser.